question 11. The table shows the distribution of the number of hours per day spent in studying by 50 students. So you have number of hours per day, number of students is the frequency, so you can take number of hours per day as S. So you have 4 to 11 for the frequency, it means 5 students studied 4 hours per day, 7 students 5 hours, 5 students 6 hours, 9 students 7 hours, 12 students 8 hours, 4 students 9 hours, 3 students 10 hours, 5 students 11 hours. Calculate correct to two decimal places D. A part of the question mean and B part standard deviation because the data involve frequency the mean can be computed using this formula and the standard deviation any of these so we need to construct another table showing S showing F showing fs and other columns that need to be added in order to find the standard deviation the solution continues so you have s and y as given in the table so for us to find the mean we need to add the column for fs that is the product of S and F. So you have 4 times 5, 20. 5 times 7, 35. 6 times 5, 30. 7 times 9, 63. And so on. Summation so FS means you should add this column down. If you add, you have 365. Summation F means you should add this column down. And when you add, you have 50. So the mean is 365 divided by 50. And you have 7.30 to 2 decimal places. For the for the standard deviation, we are going to use this formula to do that. So SD is equal to summation F S squared over summation F minus what you have here is the mean, then you square it. Because of this, we just need two more columns. You need to get S squared and F s square so you square the s column for you to get s squared four squared is 16 five squared 25 six squared 36 seven squared 49 and so on to get f s square you use the frequency column to multiply s squared column so five times 16 is 80 7 times 25, you have 175. 5 times 36, you have 180. 3 times 100, you have 300 and so on. So you also add this column down and you have 2,873. So you replace F S squared with 2873, the F is 50. Already from the first part, you know summation FS over summation F as the mean to be 7.3. You simply square it. You divide this place, you have 57.46.
you square 7.3 you have 53.29 if you subtract you get 4.17 and if you check the square root of 4.17 you have 2.0421 to two decimal places you have 2.04 as the standard deviation Peter calls simplified maths. If you are watching and view from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe for more updates, like and share PSM videos. If you are viewing and watching from Facebook, follow and like the page for more updates. Also share PSM videos.